Welcome to the Nomadic Ink Channel. I'm James Showers. We're going to be taking a look at this little work truck that I have. Now, if you guys have been around for a while, you know that I've had a uh, full-size truck. And inflation rising sent the price of my truck out of this world. So I decided to sell that truck and find something fairly cheap. I got this little Nissan. This is an 89 Nissan D21 hard body pickup truck. I'm going to make it my little work truck. Now it's pretty much a beater with a heater, but it will get the job done. I'm going to flip you guys around. We'll do a walk around the whole body of the truck. We'll take a look at the inside. Now when we got this truck, it was completely dirty on the inside. And I've been hunting around for a cheap little work truck for a while. Anything under two grand was basically broken. Uh, I found this little truck for $3,000 which I still think is uh, pretty ridiculous, but um, it is a pretty cheap little truck and we're gonna make it do. If I could have gotten a cheaper truck, I would have, but this one is gonna get fairly good gas mileage. It's gonna hold all the tools. I've owned a few of these trucks, so I kind of know some of the ins and outs of them. Um, that's it, let's get started. I'm parked up here on Tubbs Hill. This is a small parking lot off the side of a private road on Tubbs Hill and I've got the masterpiece right here it is pretty dirty I've been taking it up Canfield Mountain and into the uh, national parks and it's the traditional hard body I'm gonna try keeping the um, license plate out of the way we got some simple wheels the tires aren't too bad now we will get a look at the inside and the engine here in a little bit I just want to show you some stuff here tires aren't too bad so that's kind of a deal that we've got some good tread on it here we are. We've got some sandbags in the back because it was winter and uh, you know, it helps with some traction. I keep the glove box in the back because it doesn't attach in the front and we'll look at that in a minute. The rest of this is pretty much trash other than that oil. It did come with this divider. I may keep it, I may not. I'll probably get a canopy or some sort of truck box in here, but this is just enough room for my drywall tools. I am not a POW, so maybe I'll take that off the back, but we do have uh, tinted windows. Nice little rust job here. Like I said, I'm gonna try keeping that license plate out of view. We're missing a bumper. Someone maybe was trying to do some sort of low rider thing here. Um, now we go down this side. Not too many dents, but it looks like maybe it had been in an accident before. Because we do have a red door and a black fender. But this is not the original paint. Somebody painted this white. It was originally a gray color. What I did think was cool is they kind of have this Mad Max grill that they've added in place of this plastic one that they probably had lost at some point in time. Um, you know, and it is what it is. It's a cool little truck. We were thinking about painting it, like doing like a blue rhino line or something like that. Cool grill, simple lights, nothing too special. Once again, trying to hide that license plate. Nissan. All right, let's take a look inside, guys. It is pretty dirty inside. Now, like I said, it was covered in dirt. Like, we uh, scrubbed this thing down for a day. Put this topper on here. This dash is totally toast. Uh, this seat has a big hole in it. We took a pillow, sliced it in half, set it on these seats, and then put this cover on it. We thought it wouldn't look too bad. It is kind of muddy down here because we were on Canfield Mountain earlier today. I've got this cool seat console right here. And it has a spot for, you know, big cups or small cups. You can lock it in. I've got my J hand sanitizer in here, of course, and the cord for my phone. My wife left her tea in here. It did come with this cheap stereo as a way to charge the phone. And it also has Bluetooth. We were missing the... Uh, glove box it's sitting in the back some cheap speakers in the front the dash I mean other than the top being smashed you know like the top dash is pretty terrible but the rest of this isn't looking too bad you know for a quick little beater truck and uh, yeah that's pretty much it we're gonna open up this hood we'll take a look at that where is that right over there and we do have a soy sauce on the dash because you know my wife's Asian Okay, on this hood, it's popped up a little bit. There will be a tab right here. You gotta pull it up. I'm doing that with my one finger. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this up and we're just gonna take a quick look. It's not too bad. It's not like nasty under here. It was kept fairly clean. It looks like the spark plug wires are 
kind of new. I'm going to do a tune-up on it. We'll do an oil change, spark plugs, maybe even change the wires out. The uh, air cleaner was looking pretty good when I checked it. And we did have uh, a full radiator. So, you know, we'll do a quick little tune-ups on it. Maybe lube some stuff up. But other than that, you know, it's working pretty good. I'm just going to run this guy into the ground and uh, use it as long as possible. Now the reason for this little truck, compared to having a brand new truck like I had before, is, uh, you know, I'd like to do things a little cheaper this way. My wife is definitely more frugal than I am. And we felt like it'd be cool to start saving money. And invest the rest in stocks, which we really enjoy doing. So this is one of those efforts to minimize the amount of money going out on liability like uh, you know a new car with a high payment and expensive insurance this guy paid cash we'll drive it into the ground repair it as needed low insurance gets the job done also fairly good gas mileage it is spring we're gonna go enjoy the Sun let me know if you want to take a look at videos where we go out and enjoy this truck maybe uh, up on the mountain somewhere all right, guys, let's start her up. We'll throw the key in. Get you focused back in somewhere. Not too bad. It's got a slight little, you know, a little vibration, like every, I don't know how to explain it. It just has a little, has a little something going on. We're gonna have to do the tune up, and make sure it's sounding pretty good. The clutch isn't bad. It's kind of nice having a five speed. Let that in, that's your emergency brake. We are on, we're probably linked up to the, uh, whatever that is, the radio. Probably linked up to the radio on Bluetooth, so I don't know how you guys are coming through for sound. But we're gonna, you know, head down this mountain real quick. Yeah. Out in the truck, chilling in the parking lot. It's pretty nice and warm in here, and we're gonna finish editing out this video let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below and uh, let me know if you guys want to see more nissan truck work slash videos peace some kind of structure it says the plunge I'm assuming this is some sort of sword in the stone. This is Independence Point out here in Coeur d'Alene. And I'm going to be uh, finishing up this video out in my truck.